Hey, we would love to hire you to build our brand new website. Awesome, amazing. I have availability. I would love to build your website. That's great. The only problem is we need it in about a week. That's not gonna be a problem, is it? No, no problem at all. This is a true story of a client that just recently came to me and they needed a website that was polished, professional, but they needed it in under a week. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through my entire process from start to finish and talk about proposals, contracts, discovery, wireframes, high fidelity design and development to get the website up in one week. By the time you're done watching this video, you'll understand my process and how my team and I are able to create these types of professional websites so quickly. Step one of any good website project is to scope the project. That means figure out what you're building, what you're not building, where's the content, the assets coming from, what's the agreed upon amount, creating a shared understanding between you and your client. Now, the way to do this really quickly and not spend weeks or days doing this process is to systematize your own process. For me, I have a simple Figma file that I duplicate for a new client and that comes with a templatized proposal. I go in and I update and just change and tweak and customize this proposal proposal for my clients. I don't have to reinvent the wheel every time and rewrite a new proposal. I'm just tweaking a couple of choice things. It's a cover page with their name, a project overview that includes the scope of work, their investment page that tells them how much they're going to spend, as well as some optional add-ons, a bunch of terms and conditions, an acceptance page, and a thank you page. I create that and then I send them a PDF as well as just the link to this Figma file. And this document actually has a spot where they can just go immediately and pay. I have a Stripe checkup set out so they can just click on that, open it up in the browser, put in that deposit amount and they are ready to go. That's as complex as it needs to be. And usually I'm doing this in an initial call with the client. So we're talking about 45 minutes to 60 minutes of work to get the scope laid out and understand what the project is. Next, we're gonna move into discovery. The discovery phase of a website project should really accomplish two things. Number one, it should help you clarify in a deeper, more meaningful way what you're building, why you're building it, who you're building it for. But number two, it should help you to establish some success metrics for the project so that your clients love exactly what you create for them. They come back to you, they refer you, and give you more clients in the future. To do this, I use a simple discovery session document that I have in Figma that has a series of questions. Questions about the problem we're trying to solve. Questions about the user that we're solving it for and the challenges specifically for the project. So with that, I would usually jump on a call and have a discovery session, walk my clients through it. Because I didn't have the time, I just uploaded this empty document to ChatGPT with the URL of the current website for my client and asked ChatGPT to act as the client answer these questions. Once it was done, I uploaded those answers into the document, sent it to my client, and I got approval immediately because it was almost 99% dead on to exactly what the client was looking for. Because in this day and age, you can use AI tools like ChatGPT to be a user persona, to act like your client, to get deeper insights and do user research. So that's exactly what I did. And that process took me about 35 minutes to accomplish, as well as using a tool like Reloom to build out a basic site map of the few pages that we're going to build for them in this phase of the website. So with that, discovery is done. We know what we're building. We know what success looks like. We have the answers to all of our questions and problems, as well as deeper understanding of the pages and the structure. It's time to move on to the next step, which is wireframing, grabbing the copy and starting to mood board things out. Just because a project has a fast turnaround time doesn't mean that you deliver garbage. We deliver high quality custom web design every time. And to do that, we had to minimize the scope of work. And this is the first phase of work that we accomplished in one week. So we do everything custom and that means we don't skip things like the mood boarding or the visual exploration section or phase of the project. We still do that, but it's because we've shrunken the scope down to an attainable time limit, we're able to still do it. So we moved into a mood boarding phase of the project. We grabbed a bunch of samples from around the internet and brought them into some cohesive mood boards. This is a nautical themed website for a company called Ahoy Ahoy. And we came up with three visual directions. One we called moody and serious and just grabbed a bunch of inspiration from the internet, from Pinterest, from Dribbble, from Contra. We grabbed some more examples here we called illustrative and modern and a third one we called retro and nautical. It took us about 10 minutes 
minutes to grab samples, throw them in here, but we don't just deliver mood boards because clients have a really hard time making decisions based off of mood boards. It's like trying to decorate your house, but the house isn't built yet. They don't know what color the curtains should be yet. So they need to see a closer example of what a web design actually is gonna look like without actually doing all of the high fidelity web design work. So we take mood boards, we translate them into what we call style tiles. These resemble a website, but they are not the final website by any means. We've brought each of those themes in and just laid them into some basic website kind of layout structures, mastheads, heroes, buttons, typography. We can actually see things in situation or in context of the website of, of what the website could actually look like. This actually speeds up the process drastically. If you find yourself during your website projects getting stuck in these cycles of revision that are really, really narrow, revising the mood boards, revising the site maps, revising the wireframes, you need to actually do a little bit more, deliver a little bit more on the front end so it's more impressive, it's more understandable, there's more clarity to it, and that actually will shoot your timeline so much forward It'll make the whole process faster. From these samples that we provided, the client gave us a little bit of feedback and told us they liked the idea of having it be kind of dark and moody, but they still wanted some kind of illustrative vibe to it. So from that, we came back and we threw together one more revised style tile that had a little bit of an illustration inside of here, custom illustration, and just started mocking things up. And they liked this tape. We found some supporting imagery here that we were thinking about and started to do a light mode version and a dark mode version and the client loved this. So we've done our discovery, we've done our visual exploration and inspiration finding, and at this point, we're only on about day two of the process. We are flying through the process with our client. They're super happy with the progress so far. It's time to move into high fidelity design. Now, before we jump all the way into high fidelity design, we're gonna just take a moment, breathe, grab all of the current content and copy from their current website that they have and organize those into the pages that we're gonna build. And then we use a tool like Reloom to give us a general idea of the layout and structure in wireframe mode. You don't need to create wireframes from scratch anymore. It's just not a valuable use of your time. Use a tool like Reloom, jump into Framer, have it generate a bunch of different wireframes using the wireframe tool in Framer, and you can actually start executing beautiful layouts and wireframes that you can plug your copy into. So we did that and then moved directly into high fidelity design. Now, we don't skimp on high fidelity design around here, so we went through the full design process. We started bringing in illustrations, customizing those illustrations. Then we started getting some different options here when it came to time typography and color palettes. We really quickly within the first day of high fidelity design got feedback from our client. They preferred a more monochromatic kind of single color palette, all blue, no contrasting color, and they preferred a serif font for their headlines. With those few selections made by our client, that little bit of feedback, we continued to riff on ideas until we came to our first deliverable. This is the first pass that we delivered to our client, the four pages with copy uploaded, layout structured, and everything brought together. Now, there's still more work to do here, but we still gave our client that initial round of feedback so we could iterate upon it. And you can see these layouts turned out great. This was supposed to be a really static, really fast turnaround, but as soon as we started designing things like these custom illustrated ships and the landscape and the layers and the backgrounds, we realized that there was a little bit more tweaking that needed to happen. We already started making plans for development to think about things like interactions and animations. So from here, we actually moved over to our final designs, and these were much more cohesive across all the pages, slimming down the amount of colors we're using and making sure that the, the site feels holistic and not only holistic, but will scale well in the future. When we come back for a future phase of this project to do more templates, more pages, we're very locked in on a very minimal color palette, typography is set, and the layouts look fantastic. We got full approval from our client and then started to gather any of the last minute assets that we needed from them and plug them into the design. And with that, we are ready to move into development development and there's no better place to do development than inside of Framer for polished, professional and fast turnaround websites. Framer is our tool of choice and so that's exactly what we did. Now the place where most website projects get bogged down and bottlenecked is in the development phase of things. Why? Because the designers have to document and communicate and hand off to developers and the developers need to make sure they understand exactly what needs to happen from the designers. But when you use a tool like Framer, you don't have to do that because you as the designer, you don't need to do much of a 
handoff because you're just handing things off to yourself. You don't have to document or communicate because you know exactly how the design should look once they're in their final state as a website. And Framer allows you and me as designers to build websites ourselves without massive rounds of QA and pixel pushing and tweaking things and changing things. Framer is my tool of choice for building websites. If you haven't used Framer, I have a bunch of different videos here on the channel. You can find those or over in Design Champs. You can learn more about using Framer. It's an amazing tool, but it's as simple as starting a new Framer project. And I immediately create a styles page where I bring over all of my different colors and my typography. You can see here, we have our colors laid out. We have all of our text there, our link styles, our color styles. You build that immediately when you show up into Framer and then everything else is downhill. What do I mean by downhill? It's as simple as coming into your design tool, into Figma, and I can simply open up the Figma to HTML with Framer plugin. I have a section of the website selected and it allows me to copy that entire section to the clipboard. I can just come back over to Framer paste it inside and my website is being built right in front of my eyes. It's that stinking simple. And so that's exactly what we did. We started pasting in all the different sections and building all the different pages. And there's some custom interactivity here, like adding custom tickers or, you know, interactive pieces here. But really all you have to do is paste your objects in, paste your sections in, start building out the pages, make them responsive by creating these new breakpoints on our infinite canvas here inside of Framer, and then just format things. If you want something to be 100% width, set it to 100% width. If you want it to fill, set it to fill. If you want to put things in a kind of auto layout structure, we use stacks inside of Framer. And again, you can learn all about this, other videos on the channel, check out Design Champs, uh, and you can learn more about it there as well. We have courses on Framer, so you could definitely definitely check it out, but it's as simple as building your pages just like you would your design tool. Copy and paste, format, and then make sure that everything is precisely how you want it. And that's what we did. We started building out all of our pages here, our home page, our about page. We used amazing features inside of Framer like page templates so I can create my navigation and my footer and elements all at in one sitting. And now I can just load up the content directly inside of the body section. So now I have consistency at scale across my pages. And then it comes time to figure out what do you do with all this extra time? What we realized is we were done with design and development within four days and we had extra time. And this is one of the key things you should always strive to do when you're doing client work is to under promise and over deliver. So since we were so far ahead of schedule and had completed this website pretty much in four days, we said, hey, we noticed you needed a couple of landing pages. How about we build those out for you too, as well as think about adding some more interactivity and maybe even some fun animations. And so we did this four page website. It scaled up to be maybe like a nine page website, a 10 page website, because we were able to build some extra landing pages for them, implement their HubSpot forms, do a lot of extra work for them, and then even come in and start adding specific animations. And to do that, it's as simple as grabbing any item you want to animate, going over to the effects panel and adding looping animations, scrolling animations, appear animations. We can copy and paste those animations anywhere we want. And what we get is going from a flat design to a potentially static website to now an immersive, interactive, responsive website that has parallax effects, moving ships, appearing elements, interactive selectors, the whole thing comes together and Framer allows you to do it like that. And so with that being said, all we had to do at this point was go up and push that big blue publish button, connect their DNS and check it out. The website is now live on the internet and it looks and feels exactly like we wanted to. Everything is working, everything is functioning. The client is ecstatic about the how the whole thing turned out. It has interactivity, animations, movement, motion, the whole thing felt like a million bucks. And because when you build pages inside of Framer, we were able to map all of their current URL structure so they lost no SEO. We were able to map all of that immediately to the new site. So when you click on about, it's the same URL structure and that's simple to do. So we're talking about a website with SEO, with fast optimized performance, animations, interactions, and all of that was done in about a week. And that's it. There's no secret sauce. It's just a fast, 
systematized process that uses the right tools like Framer to accelerate your web design process going from weeks or months down to a series of days to turn around quality professional web designs like the one that I just showed you. My client is happy, we got paid, they're recommending us to more clients and this is how you build a successful web design business by under promising, over delivering, systematizing and choosing the right tools for the job. If you have any questions about any part of the process, want to get your hands on my proposal template or my starting templates in Figma or starting templates in Framer, feel free to hit the link down below, jump into Design Champs. I talk about all of this and I give away all of this stuff for free. So I hope that you'll become a Design Champ member for free, jump into the community and learn more about building your sustainable design business. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments, but make sure that you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you know when more helpful content like this one comes out. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. Hope you're designing amazing things. Hope you're making amazing things. And we'll see you in the next one, Design Champs.